Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the CR Lawrence. This is their Jackson brand, 20-101M-03. I think CR Lawrence is running without the dashes. They're calling it a 2101M03. Regardless, this is a overhead concealed door closer body only. This is going to be considered medium duty or regular duty. This is going to be appropriate when you need a 90 degree non hold open application. Uh, this will be appropriate for exterior doors that are a maximum of three foot or interior doors a maximum of three foot six. And this video is really to just serve visual and dimensional evidence of the body. This is a very common type of design. The name Jackson is utterly synonymous with overhead concealed uh, door closers as well as ex exit devices. And it was so many years ago that C.R. Lawrence uh, bought Jackson and incorporated that into the epic umbrella of products that they uh, supply. Now, there are different models, naturally, uh, or different appropriate applications for these overhead closer bodies that you have to be aware of. So the 2101M... O3, the O3 tells us the that it's a 90 degree non hold open. If you need a 105 degree, or if you need a hold open, or if you need a heavy duty spring, which is going to give you a bigger capacity on the door, you're going to need to change the part number. Um, also, the 21, uh, the 2101 is for a half inch spindle. Okay. They, if you needed this in the 7 8 spindle, you'd be dealing with a 2104. And the reason really has got everything to do with your construction of your door, the top of your door channel, etc., is where that's really going to come into play. Now, there is a, there are two links below this video to the instructions and to the template. Uh, the installation instructions really define uh, the the valve assemblies that are there, what the definition of those valve assemblies are, and let's start with the C and the L. They don't have them listed, but they do include a decal that's here. So C and L, closing and latching, are going to be um, the two defined areas of control. According to the installation instructions, the closest to the rear is the L, the latch. The C is going to be next, which is the closing. Defined by this drawing here, the latching is generally about the last 15 degrees. Okay, The, clo the latch valve. About the, la the, the first 15 or last 15, I suppose. But it would be the closing, the, the closing 15 degree closest to the door being closed. The closing speed is going to be from 16, according to this, out to about 90, but really about 80 uh, is where that would kick in. And if you had a back check model, which this is not, it would kick in at about 80 degree to help arrest the door from moving quickly through the cycle as it hits 80 degree the back check valve will arrest it from there the application for that would be exterior doors where you're going to have the opportunity for vandalism wind really so the door opens and the wind really catches it at about 80 the back check will say stop it right there it's not a dead stop and it's not intended to ensure against the door going through it because you can continue to push it through that back check portion it will just substantially um, let you know that you've entered the back check area and I'm going to give you a lot more resistance to pushing me open and that's what it does. This model does not have a back check uh, nor is this model a uh, this would not be an adjustable spring uh, uh, unit as well. Um, this is going to be a fixed spring even though the installation instructions call out the optional spring adjuster which would be here there appears to be a set screw that's in there but this is not it may not be I, it's difficult to see down there this is not an adjustable 
spring tension. Um, according to the installation instructions, the closer has been tested at, at the factory. Sure they have. These things are these things don't fail and when they do they're decades old um, however the back check's not been set at the factory you might have to adjust that if you make any adjustments install the closer first cycle it several times a half a dozen times make any adjustments on the valve that you deem uh, to be necessary at that point um, and do so in such a way that would be incremental and then recycle the door several times. Now when it comes to, to altering the valves, it is incredibly important that you don't back them out too much. If you do, you're going to, if you back them out too far, you'll cycle the door, the valve pin or the screw will come shooting out along with oil down the shirt. Install the closer, test it, make any changes necessary. Th to open the valve, this just like any other valve, you turn it counterclockwise. The maximum amount of counterclockwise opening is three revolutions past a full closed position. So now you have a you have a, you know a guide by which to conduct exactly what you're going to do in terms of how far to back it out. Um, obviously fully closing it is not a good idea because you're going to not be able to necessarily safely open that door when the valve's fully closed. You'll want to be incredibly careful pushing that open and let that valve open up. I think we might be overthinking it but at the same time you need to dial the valves in so that it suits the environmental conditions. Um, the options are mentioned there as well nothing else to go over. The second document is called template and that's going to give you all of the information you would need if you were doing a new installation. This is a door closer body installation only and really the second page is the important stuff and it shows you how the body is going to be connected to the bracket that's here and then over here at this angle bracket and how you attach it to the door closer body. So you're going to set this up on that you're going to set it inside that block that's on the hinge side and those screws are going to come inside and lock that down to that bracket. But then over here on the end is where those screws are going to go to be able to through the angle bracket to lock the body in. And that's your installation. These will come out first. That's going to want to kind of tip down on you. And sure enough, it'll come down. Actually, it'll, I believe it'll come out because I think it sits inside of a a bird's mouth, I think it sits inside of there, is how that actually works. And it'll be very quite obvious how the closer body comes out. You're obviously going to have to, you know, disconnect the spindle from the arm, whatever that's going to be, the um, end mount arm, the side mount arm, or the slide track, if you're doing a slide track offset sort of installation. Now, in really, uh, in really, the the best way to really bring this home in terms of whether or not this is appropriate. Regular spring for those sizes we mentioned, um, 90 degree and non-hold open. So far, so good. Let's take a look at the dimensional properties. And really what I think is probably going to be most important, and this weighs, by the way, 8.85 pounds. From the center of that screw hole that's up there down to the bottom of the body is what I'm going to measure. But I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can a bit more easily and not try to balance it. But I would say that the center of that screw hole down to the end of the body is about 11 and 5 16 And looking at the template, it's not expressed directly at all, that dimension, that I can see it in any way, shape, or form. Forgive me. No, they don't. It's close. On, on the second page, they give you the center of the screw hole to the center of the vertical axis of pivoting, which is 2 and 5 sixteenths. Yeah. So what they're saying is from the center line here to the center line of what would be the vertical axis of pivoting is 2 and 5 sixteenths. Uh, they're just not giving you the overall length of the body. I'm giving that to you so that you can, you know, put a tape measure on yours and 
and have at it. Um, I would say that same dimension would be about nine and a sixteenth from the center line, you know, the of of the axis on which the door turns down to the end of these aluminum caps. Um, overall width of the body, because people call me all the time, hey, how do I know this is right? Well, um, the video, hopefully, the dimensional properties, about three and three eighths. And then given the fact that these are so generic in design and has been copied by countless other people, thickness of the body, about an inch and a half. Okay. Uh, if, if so far, so good. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what you're going to need. They do have a five-year warranty. Be mindful to keep your paperwork. I don't have warranty claims on these. That's the bottom line. In 20 years, I really think I had maybe two warranty claims. Um, so keep in mind, a warranty claim is quite unusual. Keep your paperwork. You have to contact the people that you've bought it from in terms of having a warranty. Uh, now, moving forward with other models, they do have, and this would be considered a standard duty model, they do have one that's called premium, and I don't really believe that there's going to be any difference in the integrity or the way that it's built. That premium is going to give you those uh, that, uh, that adjustable back check um, option. You would want that if it's an exterior door, but you don't need it if it's an interior door. And in fact, I'd probably encourage you to not get the back check because some people might open that door and all of a sudden give them resistance and they might just continue to push. I've had people tell me, yeah, the guy broke the closer because he thought it was broken. No, that's the back check. Uh, so be mindful of that, uh, that I would steer away from that. In the realm of the Jackson owned by C.R. Lawrence uh, closer stuff, all of the parts are available, meaning the top arms, the center hung arms that are going to be end load or side load, and that's just the way that the arm approaches the spindle for connecting it together, or the offset packages, and there's many of them. The bottom pivots as well can be done. If you need other piece parts, and you don't know the part number, don't worry. Email us a photograph of it, and we'll certainly help you get off a of dead center in terms of what you might need. Um, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the CR, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog for their architectural hardware and all of their other catalogs as it pertains to all of the other scopes of business that they get into, which is, uh, I would argue, it's not argue, it is, in fact, the greatest variety of different top-level categories of hardware from a single company. And I'll tell you, if they printed their catalog, I'm sure it would be at least this thick. And what's really amazing about Sierra Lawrence, uh, if you're thinking about buying some material that has their name on it, or you already know all about them, What's really amazing for me as a distributor is that their responsiveness in terms of technical support and customer service is to be emulated, to be studied, and to be copied. These folks answer, they acknowledge, they respond, and they do so every time, every single time. Whether it's a simple question, what's the part number for the screws for this hinge, all the way up to Blumcraft uh, panic ladder pull applications. They're good in all of that stuff. Easy to the most complicated that you can really get into with these folks. And I only touch the tip of the iceberg of what they what they get themselves involved in. So I'm partial to them and that's why the people there is why I am. If you have any questions on the CR Lawrence or Jackson 20 101 in an MO3 configuration or any other CR Lawrence product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.